Yo, what's going on guys? It is Foxy Lou 98 here. Welcome back to a brand new video for you guys today here on the channel. Today we are here with the official launch of the McLaren MCL35. And um, first things first, my first impressions of this car. This is by far the best livery I've seen today um, in, in the 2019 set. And for me, probably one of my... It, it's already up there as one of my personal favourite McLaren liveries of all time. I absolutely adore the look of this car. Um, so, first things first, in terms of rating this livery out of 10, I'm giving it a straight 10 out of 10. This thing is absolutely beautiful. But, we are going to be having a look at the MCL35 and seeing if we can have a little look at some of the tweaks and changes that we've seen on this McLaren. But if you guys do enjoy today's video, feel free to drop it a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here as well. And uh, we're going to get straight into this. Uh, so... Let's start with the first picture then. It's going to be just a standard front-on perspective view that we always see uh, of all the cars. And first of all, we're going to talk about the livery. And then we'll start talking about some of the actual technical pieces that are new on this car. So, first things first, having a look at this livery, you can see that we have got a... Uh, a same uh, orange and uh, blue theme to it. However, once again, as now is the third team to go ahead and do this, we now have a matte orange uh, McLaren. So a lot of teams are now delving down the matte paint route. And uh, a lot of people, it may be because it's obviously nicer, but also because the matte paint color scheme is lighter. So if you have a lighter paint, you have a lighter car. So, you know, every little bit counts on it. Every little bit counts uh, indeed. Um, having a look at the front, then we can see that they've gone with the same front wing pattern as they did last year um, so there's no real changes on that the front nose however is extremely narrow uh, compared to uh, last year I think it's got a little bit narrower um, and curiously enough it's got a couple of little fins that just sort of poke outwards uh, just underneath the uh, the front nose two little fins which then obviously connect uh, to the pieces then connecting onto the actual front wing itself there so a little bits of intervention there just to channel the airflow through each side of the car it's very nice to, to see that a nice little feature um, and we've seen that on I believe the Mercedes car uh, has had it in the past. Red Bull, I believe, have got it on this year's car as well. So, a couple of cool innovative, innovative uh, changes uh, there for the McLaren um, overall. And obviously, they've got uh, a better tomorrow on the uh, on the front um, wing. And then they've got Dark Trace on the rear wing. I've not heard of Dark Trace. Um, maybe some of you guys have. Or you'll probably Google it and then comment what it is. Um, and then obviously, we've got the outboard uh, front wing end plates, as we expected. Obviously, for airflow, airflow around the car Yada, yada, yada. Um, and then the last thing I just wanted to point out is obviously, once again, the mirror covers uh, that are now starting to be implemented on pretty much all of the cars after, again, Mercedes started it. Then they sort of, like, abandoned it, and now people are just coming back to it again. Next up, then, we're going to have a look at uh, this shot. This is of Lando Norris's car, and it's sort of like a little bit of a side-on perspective here uh, for the uh, MCR 35, so we can have a little bit of a better look at it. And uh, it gives us an opportunity to see what the livery looks like from the side. Now, as you can see, they've sort of split uh, the... Um, orange orange in half down the middle and then on either side of the orange we've got a black and blue theme and yeah stunning beautiful absolutely beautiful car um and uh, again they've gone with a different um side um side pods and barge board perspective um compared to what we've seen in the past um and there's a lot of cool little key little bits on there but like i said I'm not an expert, and I've said this time and time again, I'm not an expert, so I'm not going to delve too deep into it, just mainly because I don't really know what I'm talking about, and, you know, I'd rather not just bother waffling, because no one wants to really see that, um, or listen to it. Um, but yeah, just at the front, uh, of just before the barge boards actually begin, just in front of those, there's a lot of, there's a, what I can see just straight in the back is three little um, pieces that just sort of stick outwards in three little slits, uh, slots, and again, with their floor, you can see how many different slots they've got on the floor, and then some curved pieces just by the tyres. There's a lot of interesting little pieces on there, and then obviously uh, the side pod there, uh, everyone's going with that same tactic of just having that piece that comes out where the mirror support, um, the second mirror support piece is, and then it sort of flicks upwards, uh, and then there's that gap in there, and then the en and the energy of the air uh, just flows on through. Um, with the rear wing as well, then, and they've obviously got two pillars uh, for the rear wing uh, in the, in the centre, and then obviously the DRS opening uh, mechanism there. We have had uh, some cars in past years that just had one pillar connecting, but obviously with McLaren they've gone with the two. And then also they've kept with the, in terms of the engine cover, they've kept with their initial design. Obviously we saw um, last year McLaren had a completely strange engine cover. It wasn't really there and they had to sort of flick it outwards just to get the number in there. And then eventually obviously they changed that uh, uh, from the French Grand Prix onwards. And now obviously we've got uh, this look um, for the car. And you can obviously see again from the front wing from this angle, you can see how that fin piece, it's a massive piece that all connects together. So um, it's very interesting uh, to see it um, from that perspective. 
Moving on then, we've got uh, yet another shot from the front of the car, but this time we're just sort of getting a much more broader, literal, straight front down look. Um, and those side pods, um, and in fact the air intakes of the side pods, they look very, very narrow and very thin, uh, which is quite a cool thing uh, to note uh, there. But obviously I've pretty much discussed a lot of the front, but you can just see like how much little tiny bits and bobs there are um, just on the floor, just at the front of the floor. So many little jewellery pieces in there, um, which obviously develop... Uh, the better airflow, and then they've got uh, two little um, pieces just underneath the rear wing, uh, just underneath the front wing, sorry. Um, I believe you were limited to only having two uh, on there last year, because there was like four or five, wasn't there, or something like that, and then they had to sort of drop it down. Now what we're going to do is move on to the rear of the car, and as you can see, we now get a nice look at the rear of that McLaren, and you can see how the end plate, again, the rear wing end plate, just got so many different grooves and slots in it, and uh, actually multiple little side grooves that go up uh, the car as well, sort of floats upwards there to again channel the airflow out uh, from the rear of the car. Um, and then obviously even then on the second part of the end the plate, which goes a little bit further down, again so many little uh, cuts and grooves. And then on the, the rear of the floor with a diffuser, so many again different little bits and pieces that are just in there. Um, and yeah, it just makes me, it just blows my mind because I ain't, I ain't no expert on this and it's just confusing my brain. Um, hopefully it ain't confusing yours uh, just as much on, on in there. And then the last picture that we've got here is a side, side view perspective of this McLaren MCL 35. Um, and uh, again, we can see how that livery plays into its uh, into its role with obviously the blue and then it sort of channels itself out with a couple of little grooves in there and then flicks into the black livery. But there we go, guys. That is going to be it for the MCL 35 review. Um, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. I love the car. I really have a soft spot for McLaren. Uh, and I've always said it, if Mercedes won in Formula 1, I'd be supporting McLaren. I love this livery. I love the look of the car. All I want to see this year is I just hope that McLaren can really start to bring a bigger fight to the top three teams. Or just any of those midfield teams. Just bring that fight to the top three and it'd be absolutely amazing and I'd love it to be McLaren. But there we go guys. If you have enjoyed this video, drop it a like and subscribe if you're new around here as well. Um, I don't know what livery launches tomorrow. I'll have to check that um, afterwards. I know as well that the Mercedes are unveiling the W11 um, car. I might do a video showcasing the car. I don't know yet. Let me know if you want me to do a video on the car itself. Or just leave it alone because I've covered the livery. Maybe you want me to see the car, go through the car. It's up to you. Um, but yeah, I'm going to see you guys uh, soon. So take care all. Peace.